Well, here's Barney again, and I must say, it doesn't seem very long ago that we had his fifth month birthday, um, and today's been the 19th of April. He's six months old precisely today, and he's getting bigger by the day. However, today actually he's not sort of been himself. He's uh, been pretty quiet, he's been sleeping a lot. And when I gave him his dinner, for the first time ever, he didn't quite finish it all. So I guess maybe he's feeling a little bit tired, I don't know. The park is actually quite a small park, but it's divided up into lots of small sort of areas and little alcoves and small little places. And Barney here now insists that we go to every single little alcove and every single little area to make sure he can check it out. And we have a little routine now where we uh, go to each one in turn. And if we don't, if we don't manage to get to every single little bit of the uh, park that he wants to, he's not a happy bunny whatsoever. And as we leave, he'll actually sit down and lie down and say, no, this isn't on. We've not been everywhere yet. And he doesn't want to go home. But the other day, he uh, caused me a bit of a panic because he just suddenly vanished. We're in this area here. And he just disappeared and I was shouting him and shouting him and he didn't sort of come back. I'm thinking, where the hell could he be? Because there's not really a lot of places to go to. I mean, it's all fences in this area here, down there. Um, he couldn't have gone that way because I was there and so on. So I'm thinking, where on earth has he gone? And suddenly he popped his little head out and he was over there in that corner. So as it turns out, there's a little handy little hidden trail that goes from here to the far side, which will... Uh, see in a minute but I must say he did uh, cause me a bit of a panic when he did that last time but now we've done it a few times and now it seems like that's part of his little routine we have to go through there otherwise he's not a happy bunny and so here we are now in this little hidden area of the park which uh, Barney found a little trail here which will follow him if I can through all these uh, branches and whatnot oh my God. it's okay for a dog it's not so okay for me And so here we are, we found something to chew on, God knows where that came from, but we're going to keep on going, just follow Barney, he knows the way, and he found his way, got all this stuff which I have to follow him through, okay for a dog, not so okay for me, but we'll do our best, and here we are, he still has to chew on the branches though, come on Barney, thank you for helping me, but let's go, come on then, there we go. And we're out and about, back in our little area, which we like a lot. This is in fact the first little alcove that I took him to when he was just 12 weeks old on his uh, very first walk around here. And there he's lucky, he's chewing on the branches. I don't know. Oh well, good for you lad. Make it a bit easier next time. What's that? I'll see if we tempt him to chase this and run around a little bit. Here you go. Yeah, that did the trick. One thing he likes is chasing sticks and chewing them. He doesn't bring them back, of course. He just uh, sits down and lies down and chews away. It's only the temptation of another stick that will get him to move. So if I tempt him with this, no doubt that'll get him moving again. What's that, Barney? What's that? Do you want it? Big stick. Ready, steady, go! And there he goes. Not very far, but at least it's uh, keeping him active and getting him to run around a wee bit. Right, let's get you home and uh, we'll see if you'll finish off your dinner. And here comes Ben to say hello to uh, Barney. He's not quite sure what's going on. Little mini me version. Let's see how they get on. Lots of wagging of tails, that's great. And now they're going to play, hopefully. And they fight over who gets the best stick. Yeah, just like mine, aren't you? Does mine, but it chews it and eats it. Does it? Oh, mine just spits it out. Yeah. It's mine, it's, it's mine. Come here. Come here. Noisy, isn't he? Noisy. Hello, Ben. <laughs> yeah. 
What are you doing, Ben? <laughs> oh, he's got a big bark on him, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a big bark, yeah. He's got a lot of them. What's the matter with you? What are you barking at? What? What? He knows how. Oh, yes. He's bigger than you, Barney. You're not used to that. It's normally you doing that, isn't it? <laughs> what are you doing, eh? It's normally him on his back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I sometimes think they're probably a bit too soft, you know, a bit too anti-aggressive, because other dogs will just beat them up, you know? Yeah. Well, you, you see what he did when you saw her? No. Oh, him. Her? To her, yeah. He came in, ran in, and then he sits and he wags. And yeah. then he moves a bit further forward and sits and yeah. wags. And watches. He's, he's yeah. kind of... Yeah, so today we've got two for price one. Sorry. Haven't we got that one? And that one? And they both want to play. He wants his stick. <laughs> yeah, I'm having that, he said. So now... No, it's mine, he says it's mine. Leave my stick alone. Barney, no. No. Be good. That's <laughs> so what does he do? He rolls over to say, leave me alone. I'm only a baby. Here he is. That's it. I've not even brought my treat bag. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh, I'm getting played. friends there called Sherlock, Black Lab Cross. He's a nice dog, he's uh, quite an old dog now, very gentle, so they can play and he puts up with Barney, jumping at him or whatever. But I've got something in my pocket that Sherlock likes, I've got some treats, which I'm sure will get him moving. Barney here wants to play. Boy, Sherlock just wants to chew his stick. Sherlock! What's this? What's this? Sherlock! Barney, what's this here? Yes. A little treat. And there they go. Time to go home, I think. And so here we are, back home again, and I think Barney's looking very, very tired. I think he's due for a nice long sleep now, so um, thanks for watching, and cheers.